Hello, welcome to my spare room, which is empty because our flatmates moved out and we've decided not to get more flatmates. So I have decided I'm going to turn it into like an office slash sewing room, eventually maybe like a convertible couch guest room type situation. But today we are sorting out my space. I'm just taking it over. <laughs> so we're working with kind of a blank canvas here. There's pretty much just all my makeup stuff on the floor. I usually sit here at 6 a.m. when I get up to go to work to do my makeup. There's also an ironing board for where I iron my clothes before I go to work. And, and that's about all that's in here. So today's mission is to turn it into a sewing room of my dreams. I'm really excited. So this is the before. Let's go to Kmart. Hello. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm um, Antara's chauffeur and camerawoman today. That's my sole purpose for being here. Um, <laughs> and we're getting cat costumes. Yeah, I need to buy some cat costumes. <laughs> we were miraculously found a park. It's time to go. It's time to go. We're going in. You are the chosen one. <laughs> A bookshelf to put stuff on. To display. Solid plan. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> but I'm like, do I need it? But I'll use it. It's really cute. Oh my it's god, cute, it's Scandi. Right? It's also $29. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and film you and not actually help you with anything. Oh my gosh. Those guns though. Oh, that's cute. This is Is that cute? Scale is so wrong. Yeah. I think it might look weird even if we trip. Let's park this idea. We have found the desk. And Tara's getting two of these and I'm gonna stand here and film them and not help her. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> so this is the trolley situation. I was just gone over there to steal this random abandoned trolley. <laughs> one trolley down, one more to go, hopefully. Hopefully we don't need three trolleys. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> grey, when in doubt, go grey. I'm a chauffeur and a camera woman. Now I had to go, so it's pretty much just me and I'm gonna build the furniture now um, and get this ball on the road. She wasn't big out getting all the stuff I need in here though, so. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. First up is a desk. And I'm not really sure what layout I want to go for. I'm not sure if I want the desks along this back wall, along the other wall. I've currently got them sitting here by the window. I'm also trying to think of like filming aesthetics. I want it to look nice. So I think I'm just gonna move the things around a bit and see which layout I like best. This might take a couple days for me to decide before I'm ready to do like the final styling and stuff. So let's uh have a move around. Currently, I've got everything up against the window and hello. Um, and here, there's kind of just like a big 
gap along here at the moment, which is fine if we're going to be putting like a bed here, but it won't be there for a while, so. This is kind of the rough layout currently. I kind of wish there weren't so many cables happening here. It's just kind of one of the things about having a sewing machine is cables. Yeah, this is kind of the rough layout. Jeffrey! Hi! Hi! You in the window? You're eyeing up the plant again. I played around with a few bits from around the house and built them up. I've put the printer up here because I feel like that's a good place to put it. It makes sense to have it up here from printing stuff for patterns but also it was just taking over our whole buffet in the living room. I think this is a tidy spot to put it. What do you think cats? Do you like the new layout? Checking out everything? My other idea is to move the desk from this corner to this corner and swap it with the shelf. I did that and I feel like it's kind of doing a bit of something. Kind of liking this direction. It's a little bit marginally better with the cords. Especially once I put a chair in front of it. And then I can put my pin board above there. Couple art pieces, maybe two just there. And then for this one, potentially, it could kind of disguise this unit, which I'm assuming is for a TV, but is in a bit of a weird spot, so. I just realized it's a week later, but I'm wearing a variation of the same outfit. Same dress, but different top. Beside the point. It is now the next weekend from when I originally started this and I have been using the room in its current setup and one thing I have noticed is my makeup in the window currently gets a lot of sunlight especially in the afternoons and my makeup's getting a little bit overheated this is not good position for it so my current thinking is swapping the table that has the sewing machines on it with the makeup table because that is quite a sheltered area that desk is in so I think that will do better and my sewing machine will be protected anyway because it's got a cover so yeah I think I'm gonna switch that over and then do my final styling bits like roll out the rug do my little artsy bits on the wall and then it's gonna be ready For now, the idea is that eventually we might get like a guest couch bed thing situation happening up in here. And I do kind of want to get a set of drawers or something so that I can have all my sewing bits in them. But this is how it's going to be for the next little while and I'm really happy with it. I think all the little additions of decor to like the basic really cheap furniture has really bought it up and it's really nice to have a little sewing space and dressing room, getting ready room. So, I'm gonna show you around. So, as you come in the doorway, there is the shelving unit, the mannequin things. I've got the mirror over there, which I think works well because it does hide the plugs a little bit better than when I had the sewing machine and stuff over here. I'll take the covers off just for the, the proper effect for this little tour. I'm very happy with my little for a rubber plant. Jeffrey can't kill this one, but he has already tried to knock it over, so. I've got my little bit of DIY art here, which if you've subscribed to our channel for a little while, I did a DIY video about how I made this, so I'll link that one down below. I moved up a little scratch post for the cats because it was down in the lounge and they didn't really use it. It was kind of in the way. Oh, hello. I captured a jelly bean seal. Sorry, pause of the final tour of a jelly bean. Really happy with the little jute round rug. I feel like it really finishes off the room nicely. I've got a few little came up bits and bobs, but I've also got a little Lego man clock, which I got for my birthday, which is super cute. I've also got this vintage um, hem measurer, which my friend Tegan got me, which I thought was really cute for my sewing room. A bit of my jewelry, 
few bits and bobs and the printer here which I think is a great place for it it looks way better than when we had it just like in the dining room so that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed coming along this journey with me i wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out so i'm pretty happy with how it did if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i think next week is going to be a las vegas vlog for ellen which would be very cool i'm very excited to see that so i've got my notifications on but yeah i will see you in the next one bye